and we're back with another uh, some cool tech stuff here. This is a 49 feet RGBW smart outdoor string lights. There's 15 bulbs in this one. Um, got two boxes. We're gonna play with it and set it up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe and leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys have ever played with anything like this. And if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up also. So here you go. You get a couple QR codes here. Scan the QR code to watch the touch key operation video. And it looks like there's a power button and a setting button in the back. You also get a little manual right here. So everything seems pretty easy. And then you get all tons of zip ties depending on how you want to set it up. So pretty interesting here. Now this is, <laughs> this is, it, it is a big one. It is a very, very, very big one. So I'm just going to plug it in here for now and show you guys how it works. Now on one end, you do get the power. Here is the power cable and attached to that, you'll get the power and then the settings button right there. So it's pretty nice. And then on the other end, um, not sure what this is. I think, let me see. I think this is, ooh, this is if you want to connect more to it. Um, you should be able to connect more. So pretty nice. Kind of curious, if you do have two strings, how exactly would this work if they both have the same connector thing at the end? So I'm um, pretty sure it's going to be pretty simple, but um, you just unscrew it and screw it back on. So pretty easy. Now the actual lights, they are all individually wrapped, which is kind of cool. Um, it looks like this is, I want to say it's glass, but it could be like just a different type of plastic. So I'm not going to test it out and break it, but there it is. Okay. So I have the entire strand here and this doesn't look like it's a button. looks like it's going to be a, like a touch. So let's go ahead and touch that. And there you go. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. The settings, if you do touch the settings, what does it do? Okay, there it goes. So it just changes colors on the settings. So you got red, you got green, you got blue, yellow, purple, uh, white. And it looks like a, like a warm white maybe. And then you got some blinking ones and it looks like they alternate colors. Um, this one looks like it alternates colors, but more of a gradual instead of a blinking. Um, then same thing, just different strobes to different colors. And then back to the standard one. So that's not, not bad. Now, as I am looking through the cables here, if you do buy a second one, and I'll switch over here to my bottom camera. If you do buy a second one, here is the, well, so, so here's the power brick. Here's all the cables. And then what you do is you disconnect this guy right here. Just disconnect the power brick. And then now you can connect this to a second set of strings. So that's how you do it. Pretty cool. And then make sure when you do plug it in, you follow the two arrows right here. And then you slide this guy right back in, tightening it up. So that way it stays uh, uh, waterproof. That way it's you're good to go. Okay, so there is an app here that you can get also. According to this, it says wireless control. Use app to control your lights from anywhere. Color changing hue. Uh, choose the color combination. Automatic setup weekly. Schedule to fit your lifestyle. Linkable up to 98 feet. So it's two of these guys. Two strings, I, uh, waterproof, IP65, and weather resistant, which is pretty nice. So as far as the app goes, this is going to be the app right here. So depending if you got the Apple or App Store or the Google Play Store, it's going to be XM Cozy. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go to my Play Store. And when I search XM Cozy, there it is right there. There it is right there, XM Cozy by Golden Luck. So I'm gonna hit install. It's about a hundred megabytes, so it's not that big. For an app that controls lights, uh, it might be a little bit big, so it's it's not that bad. Um, so you have a login and a sign up. So just make sure you sign up if you haven't done so already. Make sure you agree, get a verification code, put your email information in there. Very, very simple here. 
Um, once you do get your verification code, it's going to be very unique. Just go ahead and grab that and throw it in here. And then make sure you do set up a password. So here we go. Let's go over to the phone and it says add device. Just go ahead and got it. Add device. And then it's going to search your location. So just go through that. Hit continue while using the app. That's what I normally do. Now, I believe I have this top one right here, S14 strings. I'm trying to see where exactly it says on the box. Um, I don't see where it does say, but that's how it kind of looks like. So I'm assuming that it's just going to be that. So I'm going to hit this. And then the next screen is you're going to you're going to be connected to your Wi-Fi. Make sure you're on 2G. Now, when you get here, it does say power on the lights and long press the and long press the button for five seconds so it should say long press the power button that's what i'm guessing so one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand there we go so it's now five seconds so confirm the lights blinking i'm gonna hit that button hit next and then adding device so yeah looks like it's checking the network make sure it's everything's connecting properly and looks like that's it um it says click on this tap to add this device so i'm gonna hit that plus sign and it says i can call it whatever i want i'm just gonna leave it like that actually let's go ahead and change this to uh outdoor lights and hit done that way i believe you should be able to connect this to your alessa devices and stuff like that so just hit done and then that way whatever you have synced up then you could just say alessa turn on my outdoor devices or whatever it is so okay here we go um I'll go ahead and leave one up there, one down here, and I'll try to get out of the way as best as I can. So those are my options. I got warm white. If I click on that, it should do that. If I go cold white, if I do, oh, look, look at this, romantic. Um, cool. And then I could switch the different, the, the intensity of this thing. So there you go. That way you guys could kind of see it. Um, you have date. And same thing. Um different types of colors there so that's pretty neat you got moon so it's not that bad so these are static you got festival so there's your uh halloween you got thanksgiving and it looks like it just goes almost like flickering what does halloween do okay it just switches di to different colors all right that's pretty cool independence day america uh new year pretty nice just different Fun different types of colors you got marquee so you got a flow so this is just like it just follows in one order uh chase just chasing it over a little quicker breathe there you go some pretty cool features and then scanning that's pretty nice now if you do have music it says detecting music so while using the app it could actually detect music so if i'm talking it will start flickering back and forth so um that's pretty cool and then of course i could pause it so that way it just stays static or i could just hit play um and then it'll do its thing right there so it's pretty nice um with this one i could actually choose let me see preview we're gonna do all the lights and i could just hit this and preview it move this around and then just hit preview it pretty cool if i want to do single i can actually pick exactly specifically which lights or if i want all then it'll do all of them so that's pretty cool you could actually do something customizable like that um and of course you got like gradient colors you got jumping colors breathing colors flashing rainbow let me see what rainbow does okay you got you got multiple colors here to choose from so pretty neat look at that all right, clockwise, and anti-clockwise, stream. What does stream do? Okay, so pretty nice. And then the last setting, you got timers, schedule, length of time. Um, so a lot of pretty cool stuff here. So I got to say, pretty easy setup. Um, everything within the app is actually pretty nice. So let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. These lights are pretty nice. If you have two strains, you could do all kinds of damage with them. Um, when you test them out at night, at nighttime, everything just looks extremely bright. So it's pretty nice, pretty neat. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. As always, you guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.